Hi everyone, Dinesh Sirisena here, and today we're going to be talking about injections into and around the popliteus tendon. As with my previous video, I recommend having the patient lying on their side with the lateral aspect of the knee exposed. This will mean that the lateral aspect can be imaged and you can identify the popliteus tendon sitting in that location. When you identify it, you will see it in a short axis view. It's important, having identified the tendon, to then assess it in a long axis orientation by turning the transducer 90 degrees. And this is how I would undertake the injection. Either in a out of plane approach in the short axis orientation or with an in-plane approach in the long axis orientation. In both situations, it's important to bring the needle as close as possible to the popliteus tendon if you are doing, say, a cortisone injection, in which situation you don't want to put the steroid into the tendon itself. Or if you are doing a PRP injection, you want to bring the needle into the tendon and using a fenestration technique, distribute the PRP into the tendon itself. And this is what you will see on the ultrasound. So with the tendon in a short axis orientation, bring the needle in directly down into it in the out of plane approach. And using the fenestration approach, you want to distribute the PRP. Or let's say you're doing a cortisone injection, you may want to use the long axis orientation and the in plane approach to deliver the steroid just above the tendon. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video informative and it adds to your knowledge of musculoskeletal ultrasound imaging and interventions. If you did, please remember to hit the like down below and subscribe to the channel for further updates. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And remember to check out sportsmedinfo.sg. Thanks again, and I hope to see you all soon.